Hello everyone and welcome back to the Northern Lights SMP. My name is Mr. Frogger and we are back in our starter base today. The reason being is I looked at this area behind us here with the farmland and thought that looked amazing. I looked over here and saw our mega tree and thought it's looking good. I then looked over at the rest of our base and thought that is also looking great. But right here next to our starter house it's looking hmm, very bland and very vanilla and we we can do better so in this episode i'm going to redo this starter area and the house will stay the same but the back wall and the cliffside i will change i will build up some custom trees instead of this vanilla tree and i'm going to just get a really nice garden for our starter house that sounds like a lot of fun to me so let's jump straight into it. So first things first is we want to get rid of these trees and clear a bit of space that we can work in. So let's get chopping. Now that is much better and much cleaner. And I think what we do next is take the wall texturing that we did there and I think we start repeating the process maybe here along the bottom and also along the back so I think to do that what we're gonna do is we will just peel back this this rock I think this side here I don't really want it sticking out as much and I think that side looks okay but what we'll probably do is peel back a layer of dirt and replace it with some stone variants so I think to start with, I have a rough, yeah, it's looking okay where it is now. And I think what we'll do is just kind of wireframe it almost with this stone. So I don't want to go much higher than it is now. And I kind of want it to, well, look semi-natural. Let's see what we can do. Perfect. And I think it's already starting to come together quite nicely. Um, I definitely think the shape um, and not just the brown dirt that we have around here really helps the area but adding in some stairs slabs and some different texture will just bring this section up a lot more so we've got some extra bits so let's just chuck them in and see what we can do so i think that is looking really nice the texture just adds to it with the different blocks in and i think what we can see from this is we need to extend this all the way around the back of this house. So I'm gonna head off and do that and bring you back when it's done. Oh yeah, that is looking nice. And um, we still need to kind of figure out the top and we still have to put in some um, stairs and slabs just so it's not so straight in certain areas. And I would love to get some mossy cobble in there as well. So we've got mossy cobble, we've got stairs and slabs of a lot of things, and we're just gonna go in and add a bit more texture. Now we don't wanna go over the top, but uh, well, we might do, cause it'll look good, I reckon. So yeah, we just wanna go in and add a few things around here, just to break this kind of line up a little. We can come in, we say this one, you will be a stair, and we'll do the same with the other variants and instead of it looking like this it will look like this so i think yeah i think this looks great i think we've got enough texture we've got enough height difference and i think this area is starting to look great and from our path area yeah we can see it and it does look like it continues along from there which is cool so now that we have this rocky area looking good i think we should switch up our focus to this area right here and my plan for this area is kind of like an arching big custom tree and i have been reading the wheel of time and in the version I have, the chapter art for the Blight has this um, really cool twisty kind of rundown tree. And I think I want to try and use that style on the trunk at least. And I still want to make it kind of lush and, and green, but I want to see if I can play around with kind of a twisted trunk on a tree. And I've never done this before, so well, it could turn out badly, but uh, let's build this and see how it goes. So I started by trying to get the trunk shape the way I wanted, which was a little trickier than I'd expected. I couldn't quite get the curve that I was thinking of in my head and I had to keep going back and forth and checking exactly which one looked good and taking down and rebuilding until I got it in just the way that I think I wanted and it looks good. Thank you. 
Once I had the curve of the main trunk just how I wanted, I started to work on a few of the branches, wanting to have one kind of drooping and the others kind of stretching off in one direction as if the tree was leaning out over one side. In my last mega tree episode, I got some feedback from Obni that the leaves could maybe go on um, some fences or smaller branches. So I decided to try this out by adding spruce fences in and basing the leaves off that. I still wanted to go for a kind of drooping, almost willowy look for these leaves, so we're bringing them quite far down, um, but overall, I think they look great. Oh boy, that was a tough one, but I think this tree is looking great. It was a, an interesting one to do, a different shape of trunk than I'm used to, and as uh, I hope you can tell from the time lapse, well, yeah, I had a few uh, a few goes at it, um, but I think it is looking great at the moment. The only thing I think left to do is we got to go in and add some details, which I think we'll do together. I want to start by rounding off um, the shape in a few places, so I have some spruce stairs and slabs to kind of go in and, and fill it out in a in a kind of more curved manner in a certain places. And then we have some glow lichen, which I think will look fantastic all over this tree, as I really wanted this one to feel a bit more older and maybe damaged in a certain way as well, or I guess a little more, a little more natural. And then in the past I have done um, lighting with glow berries, but I think for this one I kind of want to experiment with something like this. So we'll go up in this kind of area here and add a few chains in with a lantern and maybe add about three or four different lanterns hanging from this tree just to see how it looks. And one thing I'm experimenting with this one, I think I mentioned it already, is I'm experimenting with a few more, I guess, smaller branches um, with the fences and putting leaves around that, like this one. And what we need to do now is we got some coarse dirt and we're going to go in and kind of mess up the ground a bit. And I think we'll also add in some mossy cobble in places. Yeah, I think this is looking great now with the dirt a bit messed up and uh, all the lights and branches and glow lichen coming together. Lovely. So now that the tree is done, we have this area behind us to tackle next. And it is a large open area and I think a flower garden will be nice. A nice place to relax. Maybe a few benches and a places to sit, relax, read, and uh, just think about the world. And then behind here, I think I want to add a few um, more thin custom trees, similar to how we've done them over in, uh, in that area, so that they don't block the wall, but they do add to the depth of the area. So let me tackle this area and I'll bring you back and show you how it went. So we have ourselves a garden. So let's take a look. I uh, decided to go with a mixture of the green concrete powder and moss throughout with a bit of the coarse dirt just to give the grass a, another kind of green color. And we've gone hmm, maybe overboard with the tulips. I'm not too sure. We put a um, spore blossom in the tree, which gives us a little nice particle effect. And we've gone through with some stones of different variants as little kind of uh, rocks. We have our little picnic set up where we can sit and just enjoy the view. And then up here, we've got these little uh, trellis, I guess is what they are. And I think the kind of orangey from the acacia just kind of Oh, just is a really nice color on this kind of gray backdrop. And we added a few bits of storage and uh, yeah, I quite like that actually, you know? And then walking this way, I've done three custom trees in and around a bunch of flowers to make it feel overgrown. And it just kind of breaks up the wall a little bit 
um, without it being too without it being too much I think so I thought to best show off the changes in this episode I would do a nice side by side kind of comparison with a bit of shaders on I am really happy with the progression that we've made in this episode. The hillside in the background looks great. The trees just break it up a little, which is nice. And our custom tree, I went out on a limb and I think, I think it looks really good with the non-straight trunk. So it's episode 22 and I think we can call it. I think we can call the starter area done. I think I'm pretty happy. We have a wonderful new tree. We've textured up the garden a little bit, plus all our flowers and a little place to sit and, and view, and some other custom trees around the back. And I am very, very happy with how this has turned out, and I'm looking forward to continuing doing some more work on this server. And I think in the next few episodes, we're gonna head over to help Minnie out around his base and try and uh, build up his airport. So if you have any tips or suggestions on what you would think would look good in an airport, please do leave it in a comment. And if you have any feedback or anything else based on today, please do let me know as well. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, bye-bye.